Welcome to CCN News, I am your host Captain Raiden Krishna and here are some of your top stories for today, February 28th. The Dow further extends slum amidst worst stock market slides since the global financial crisis. The Trump administration barred a top U.S. disease expert on speaking freely to the public after warning the coronavirus might be impossible to contain. A whistleblower says that HHS didn't give quarantine staff protective gear during training. A former Houston cop charged with murder in botched drug raid suspected of framing 69 people. And the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta swam Capitol Hill in red to talk to lawmakers about issues vital to black Americans. Let's get to the news. Wall Street's historic route looks to continue Friday with future prices pointing to extend decline for the three major benchmarks amidst the worst week for world markets since the financial crisis as investors prepare for what could be a global coronavirus pandemic. As Asian stocks plummeted in overnight trading following last night's sell-off on the Wall Street that heaved more than a thousand points off of the Dow Jones Industrial Average for the second time this week, pulling the MSCI world market bench closer to correction territory, wiping up more than $5 trillion in equity value and setting up its worst five-day run since November of 2008. More than 83,000 people, mainly in China, but in rising number around the world, have been infected with the respiratory virus, officially known as COVID-19, with new cases confirmed overnight in Nigeria and New Zealand and also in Lithuania. Donald Trump's administration has barred one of the top U.S. experts of infectious diseases, Dr. Anthony Fauci, from speaking out about the Canara virus outbreak without the permission of the White House. The New York Times reported on Thursday that in an apparent bid to stop the, contra- the contradictory messages about the public health crisis. At a press conference on Wednesday, Donald Trump announced that Vice President Mike Pence, who has faced criticism for handling an HIV outbreak as Indiana governor, would lead us in the effort to halt the spread of the virus, and Pence would directly report to Trump. Among the first steps Pence took was to institute measures to coordinate messaging which would require top officials to seek clearance before making public statements on illnesses. Whistleblower is alleging that the Health and Human Services officials dispatched more than a dozen workers to aid quarantine Americans evacuate from China without providing proper training or protective gear, a move that potentially exposed them to the Kanora infection. The complaint from an HHS employee also claims those workers were not constantly tested for the virus and their development came over objection from various HHS staffers. The whistleblower is now seeking federal protection all allegations that the individual was unfairly and improperly reassigned after bringing concern about the workers' safety to the HHS officials. When Houston police narcotics detectives served their search warrant for one of her clients back in 2016 for possession of drugs, defense attorney Monique Sparks questioned the validity of the case as soon as she saw that Officer Gerald Gones was involved. I would say that at least for 10 years that I know of, he's kind of terrorizing the community, Sparks told ABC News on Thursday. She also said that she'd received numerous complaints from defendants about Gones' questionable behavior, which she describes as threatening and even criminal. However, the defendants were too afraid to file their grievances. Gones is a former police narcotics officer now facing murder charges stemming from a January 2019 botched drug raid in which a married couple was killed in a gun battle that left four officers of the drug teams, including Gones, wounded. An investigation found Gones allegedly lied in an affidavit to get the judge to sign off on a no-knock warrant. 
Capitol Hill saw a sea of red on Tuesday as members of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated promoted legislation they believe is crucial to the black community. Over 1,000 members of the historically black sorority walked around to numerous lawmakers' offices demanding to speak to as many as possible in order to discuss several topics of legislation they want to see pushed through. Focusing on voting rights, gun background checks, college reporting hazing incidences, decriminalization of marijuana, the criminal justice system reform, banning hair discrimination, and more. The women were adorned in their signature red from head to toe. And here at CCN, we always like to keep you updated. So I just got some news that came across. I wanted to share it with you. It's not in the beginning, but here you go. Schools across the United States are canceling trips abroad and planning online lessons and even rethinking the perfect attendance awards as they brace for the possibility for the new coronavirus could begin spreading in their communities. Districts have been rushing to update emergency plans this week after the federal officials warned that the coronavirus which started in China is most certain to begin spreading in the United States. Many are preparing for the possibility for school closures that could stretch weeks or even longer. Even as they work to tamper down the panic among the students, parents, and teachers, President Donald Trump has worked to minimize fears about the virus, but on Wednesday he also recommended that schools, for schools to start planning for the arrival of the COVID-19 virus, just in case. And once again, thank you for watching TCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian. And as always, be the change you want to see. If you want change, the change starts with you. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave comments below. I would like to hear what you think about these stories and more. Alright, have a good day. Peace.